Hi guys, how are you all going? And in this video, I'll be reviewing one of my all-time favourite science fiction movies, and that is Edge of Tomorrow. Now, Edge of Tomorrow came out in 2014. It starred Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, uh, Brennan Gleeson, a lot of great actors, especially, in a, and the movie was headlined by Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, and essentially, it's set in the future. It's actually, it's actually set in the year 2020, but instead of COVID, because it came out in 2014, we didn't know what COVID was, obviously, but instead of COVID, aliens have actually invaded Earth, and essentially, Tom Cruise plays a character, William Cage, who's assigned to actually take photographs of an assault in Paris, on a beach in Paris. But instead, he actually, after he tries to escape, he actually gets demoted to as being, to being a soldier. He actually gets forcibly recruited into actually fighting in the assault from the aliens and then basically he, he actually kills a very rare type of mimic so the aliens are called mimics he kills a very rare type of mimic called uh the alpha and essentially after the after the blood of the alpha falls on top of him it basically gives him the ability to actually um well control time in the sense every time he dies the day restarts over so he actually keeps on dying repeatedly and he actually keeps on reliving the same day and that power actually belonged to the Alpha previously, which is actually the Omega's central nervous system. So the Omega is the brain that controls all the mimics, and the Omega's central nervous system is the Alpha, which has the ability to control time. But overall, a fantastic movie full of great action set pieces, a compelling story. I thought the mimics, the design of the mimics was very well done, I thought. He has some great action, great story, great performances by Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. They actually had very good chemistry together, I thought had a lot of great chemistry together, a lot of great twists in this movie, just a very, very good movie, um, and it, it paid off, well, basically the, had a very good showdown at the end against the um, the Omega, well, yeah, that scene at the end I thought was amazing, very good movie, funny as well, okay, funny, had a great soundtrack, and also had a very good song that plays in the end credits, um, Blame, no, not Blame, sorry, um, the song uh, Love Again, no, Love Me Again by John Newman. Yeah, that plays in the end credits. Um, very good song. But overall, great action, great story, great design on, of the aliens, great cinematography on the beach, like in, on the beach in, in France, great cinematography. Um, and it was a very unique concept. It's actually based on a 2000... Well, it was actually based on a Japanese manga called All You Need Is Kill. Um, the only th bad thing, well, the only downside, not in terms of the movie... The movie only made three hundred and seventy million at the box office, which is actually a success. Okay, it, it it more than doubled its budget. However, this movie should have made more money. Came out in two thousand fourteen. I mean, this movie was fantastic, and yet Transformers Four made over a billion dollars. Transformers: Age of Extinction made over a billion dollars, and that movie sucked. I mean, look, I didn't hate Transformers: Age of Extinction, but it was nowhere near as good as this movie. This movie had a had great acting from Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. Great performances, great chemistry, great action, great fight sequences. Great humour, bit of emotion as well. Not, it, was, it wasn't too emotional, but it did have some emotion here and there, which I liked. And we see Tom Cruise's character William Cage really start to really start to care for Rita, Rita um, Vertasky, played by yeah, Emily Blunt. But overall, a very good movie directed by Doug Liman, who also did The Bourne Identity. He also did American Maid, starring Tom Cruise, which came out three years after in 2017. But overall, a very good movie. I thought the, also the suit that Tom Cruise wears in the movie, that exo suit, was, yeah, it looked amazing. Apparently it was actually made out of plastic, which I find very astonishing, but because apparently it was made out of plastic, but I thought the design of the suit was, yeah, fantastic. And it's got those um, machine guns at the back as well. But, yeah, very good movie. Highly recommend this movie. I didn't actually see it in cinemas. Okay, I'm a huge, huge Tom Cruise fan. I didn't actually see this movie in cinemas because it came out in 2014. I wasn't a Tom Cruise fan back then. I first watched this movie in 2017, actually, and, yeah, loved it. And I've actually seen it three more times since. I've seen it overall four times. My first time watching it was in 2017, and, yeah, I love this movie. In my opinion as well, one of Tom Cruise's be all-time best movies. I wouldn't, say it's, I wouldn't say it's his all-time greatest, but it's one of his best movies to date. And I actually think it's by far his best sci-fi movie. I think it was better than War of the Worlds, which I also enjoyed, but I think better than War of the Worlds, I think it was better than Oblivion, and I also preferred it a little bit more to Minority Report as well. I thought this movie was by far his best science fiction movie. And it's a shame it didn't actually make more money at the box office. And it had a great score as well. It had a great, great score. But yeah, overall, Edge of Tomorrow, for me, gets a 9 out of 10. Fantastic movie. Any flaws? Look, I can't think of too many flaws. Why do I give it a 9? Well, I guess it doesn't... 
I don't know if this, I wouldn't call this movie perfect. I think it, in, not so much in the middle, to, middle late it does drag in a couple of spots, I think. I think towards, not right at the very end, but sort of like middle-ish towards, slightly towards the end, it sort of drags a tiny bit, I thought. And I think we could have had some more scenes to actually build on the other soldiers from William Cage's unit or from the other soldiers who he fights alongside. We could have had some more character... There could have been some more character development for some of those characters, I thought. But overall, a fantastic movie. Go watch it and take care, guys. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for a lot more movie reviews. Um, movie reviews, you know, footage from concerts, which I'm about to go to soon. Um... Yeah, a lot more content coming soon. Travels, stuff from my travels, gaming content. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, guys, and take care. Bye.